Hey guys, it's Josh. Um, this week, I forgot what number it is. I think it's 53, I don't know. I've been really out of the loop the past month. Um, the topic is C.C. McDonald. <clears throat> I was... Um, sorry. <laughs> I was in the hospital when... Um, kind of all of that stuff went down with her. But when I got out, I had seen a lot of posts on it, so... Um, I need chapstick. So when I got out, I had seen a lot of posts on it and read up on it a bit. Mm -hmm. um, and I've really been thinking about what my opinion on it is. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, CC, being a trans woman and a trans woman of color, um, is walking around with a target on her back. Being a trans person of color, regardless of trans man or trans woman, puts um, a target on your back. <clears throat> some of you know, some of you don't, so I'll tell you anyway. I lived and I transitioned in Arkansas. I lived in Arkansas for about seven years and began my transition there. Um, I was physically attacked on two occasions. The first one was two weeks after my top surgery, and it was in my place of employment, where um, I had a man push me around and bust open my staples in my chest. So I had internal staples, and bust open my staples, and I had an infection develop, and it was really, um, it was really shitty. So, <clears throat> that was time number one. I didn't defend myself at that point. Um, the second incident actually happened a while after I'd been on T, probably a year or like a year and a half after I'd been on hormones. Um, I was at a urinal at a restaurant. Um, all of the stalls were either out of order or occupado. The urinals did not have dividers. I, I just had to pee. Um, the urinals didn't have dividers. So I picked the one right next to the wall as close as I could, and I tried to turn my body as much as I could. I'm pretty sure when I read How to Be a Dude 101, rule number one is to not look when other guys are peeing, but I guess not everyone understands that rule. The person walked away from the urinal, I didn't even notice anything, and then they came up behind me and bashed my face into the flush handle of the urinal, uh, breaking my jaw, causing me to lose some teeth back there. Um, uh. Right there. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but I had been on hormones and I had been... Not really physically fit, I was still super fat, but I was muscular as well, so I kicked his ass. Um, and I bashed his face, because I was pretty ticked off. Um, but I did it to his face, I didn't do it behind him. Sorry about that. My mom texted me. <laughs> um, so... <clears throat> I obviously moved because I'm in Florida now with my family and my wife and all that. But when it comes to the C.C. McDonald ordeal, back to that, I believe she acted completely in self-defense. Being a trans person of color, especially trans women. As a trans man, you can look at me and not know what I was before. I don't. I, I also live completely stealth. I don't tell anyone that I'm transgender. Um, so with Cece, I don't know if she was at a gay bar. I mean, I don't know when it comes to that. But being a trans woman is harder in society um, just because of the gender roles. Like, it's okay for a girl to be a tomboy because that's what she's called. It's just a tomboy. Oh, they're just a tomboy. It's fine. Um, but it's not okay for a man to be effeminate. It's okay for a girl to play with trucks and Legos and cars, but it's not okay for a boy to play with Barbies. In society standard, it's for me, I don't, you know. I was the one playing with Barbies and those little Green Army guys in the same game. I was the half and half. I have a problem with that. Um, so as a trans man, it's a little more accepted... Um, 
and I, I say that lightly because I've had some hellacious issues being a transgender man. Um, but especially being a trans woman of color in a place where she's at, which isn't like she's in New York City somewhere or a place that's culturally advanced that can accommodate her. She's in a place that can't, um, politically and socially, things along that line. Um, I think her arrest was unjust. I think her treatment after her arrest was unjust. From what the news has reported, she was denied medical care because she was bashed in the face with a bottle and allowed, uh, that allowed her to get um, like an infection or really inflamed in her face. Any cuts from a dirty, filthy bottle um, needs, to, needs to be addressed immediately, not left there for days. I believe her... Now, I, I respect her decision to plead guilty to a lesser charge. Um, a lot of people think she was found guilty by a jury, but she pled guilty to a lesser charge because we all know being a trans woman of color, if she would have went before a jury, it would have been a hell of a lot worse. So I commend her bravery on that. Um, I would have done the same thing. Um, <clears throat> But I do not agree with her treatment after her arrest. I do not agree with her being held. Um, I understand why she's held in a man's prison. The same, way, it's the same way if I were to be arrested, although I am legally male, I would most likely be detained in a female institution. Um... I think there needs to be some accommodations for her if she is to remain in a, in, a, in, a man, in a man's prison. I understand why she wouldn't go to a female prison because of the genitalia. I, I understand that. Um, the same way I would not expect to be held in a man's prison. In fact, I would not want to be in a men's detention center if I were to be arrested, which I'm not going to because I don't break the law. But if I were to be arrested and actually have to stay in there for however long, I would not want to be in a man's detention center. That would make me incredibly vulnerable to attacks. Um, so... <clears throat> I don't agree that she needs to be kept in solitary confinement um, because that's that's horrible. 23 hours a day by yourself for 41 months. I don't know how anyone can, you know, I don't know if they have TVs. I don't know if she can get mail. I don't know what, you know, I don't agree that she needs to be put into general population because that could be very dangerous for her. I think there needs to be a special accommodation um, for her or extra protection for her to be able to not live her life in solidarity for 41 days or in solitude I mean pardon me for 41 months but to also not be wide open for attacks I don't know how they're gonna do that um, you know I I know they have protective custody for things like sex offenders um, I have a friend that I've been friends with since high school um, and after we developed a friendship, uh, he was arrested for a sex offense um, 10 years ago, or no, <laughs> almost 15 years ago now. And um, he's actually in jail right now on, on a probation violation, um, and he'll be there till April. Because he's a registered sex offender, they have him in a protective custody block where there's other people of either high-profile crimes or similar crimes or things along that line, the gay inmates or the transgender inmates, the ones that are more susceptible to attack. And I think that maybe that's where she should be housed. I'm not saying she's a sex offender, but I mean, there's, there's specialized blocks in most prisons for people that are more susceptible to attack from general population. At least that way she'll be able to socialize and develop a couple of friends and a couple of, of allies and try to make the best out of this horrific situation. Do I agree that she was arrested in the first place 100% unequivocally? Absolutely not. I do not. I think it was wrong. I think that she deserves, you know, to be released. If there has to, I mean, yes, a man lost his life. Was he a piece of shit? Yes. But a man lost his life. I think she should be released, maybe 
asked to do community service, maybe something along that line, but I don't think 41 months in prison for a woman defending herself, a woman that is more susceptible to attack than just a cisgendered woman of color. We're talking about a transsexual woman of color in a state that is not as uh, socially and culturally forward as other places. Um, I, compl I believe it was complete self-defense, and I think that she needs to be freed. Um, and if that's not going to happen, obviously, because she pled guilty, then I think she needs to be made, um, you know, I, I don't want to say as comfortable as possible. That's not what the jail system's for. But I, I do believe that she needs certain accommodations made for her. So she's not in hell for 41 months, either by herself every single minute of every single day, or in a situation where she has to sleep with one eye open. That's my two cents on it. You know, um, I'm looking forward to seeing everyone else's responses on it as well. I'm glad to be back, and thanks for being so patient with me. Namaste.